Do we start? Should we start? A, hey, how are you today? How are you doing? <laughs> no, not unless you're at the bank. Just go right for it. Go right for just it. Just go, go right in right for the kill. Use a gut. <laughs> Use a gut. Use a gut. Hey, I heard you have. Hey, why do you think you need a jet? Why don't you guys? You guys have been what? What have you been using before? You don't have a jet right now, do you? What have you been using? Southwest or something? Okay. Yeah, you don't need to into I mean, the problem. Jet, jet. I mean, I sell jets, but you're a small company. You really think you need a jet? They're expensive, man. Okay, so it's like you're seeing what their problem is first, then you set the agenda. Who should? Uh, I set the agenda once I I opened up the door a little. Okay. With a pattern interrupt, what I'm trying to do, the mountaintop, the Mount Everest of sales. Okay. Is when you get the prospect to turn into the salesperson. Okay. Well, if you have a mm -hmm. little time, how, how would you do that with a seller? Like just opening up the door a little bit. I'm okay. saying it's a warm lead, somebody who posted their house on uh, Zillow. Oh, is that your house, sir? Is that your house? Oh, yes, it's my house. Why are you selling it? Beautiful home, great neighborhood. Oh, uh, well, it, it's, it's just time to sell. What do you mean? You woke up one morning and let's just sell this house, honey, right? No. Keep it. You live in the house, right? Or is it an investment property, if you don't mind? Well, I live in it. Stay there. Man, it'll only go up in value. It's a good house. Nice neighborhood. Stay, stay there another 15 years. Oh, no. I have to move. When you say have to move, I, I don't understand. I took, a, I took a stupid pill today. Could you help me? I got a job offer and I have to leave in 30 days. Oh, okay. That okay, makes a lot of sense. A lot of pressure. I had a friend in the same situation. Uh, uh, you know, I had the exact same situation. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Okay, good. We got you on. Let's, I'm going to finish up this role play and you and I are going to go, but this is worth listening okay. to. Uh, okay, listening absolutely. To. I love it. Okay. Everybody, this is Jessica. She's the new kid on the block. Hey, I, Jessica. I, Hi, I, I stepped outside because I was wondering if my reception wasn't good. So I'm going to be outside. I'm in San Diego in the sunshine. I'm in North Carolina and it's 95 degrees in humid. Oh, that's Ooh. a little too hot. <laughs> way too hot. A yeah. Alex, so you need to sell this. You move in. What a great adventure for you. Why don't you just give it to a realtor or somebody like that? I mean, can't they close in 30 days or less? Uh, not all realtors can move that fast. I dealt with realtors in the past. So if I understand you want to, you're moving, you're starting a new life. You want to sell this home. You want to get, probably want to get to where you're moving uh, as quick as possible to scope out the best schools, get a new house and, and kind of see the situation, right? Yes. Suppose I made you, is, how, what do you need from me in order for you and I to do a deal right now? Well, the house is worth 300,000. I would like to get 300,000. If I gave you $300,000, you and I could do a deal right now? Like, do you have cash to do that? I mean, absolutely. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Could you do a deal right now? You have the authority to make a absolutely. deal happen right yes. now? Yes. You're not going to tell me you have to go to a board of directors or a significant other or anything, right? No. If you give me my $300,000 today, we have a deal. Okay. Off the role play, what did I just get? Commitment. 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 A micro commitment. Even if I want to, maybe I don't want to do 300,000. Maybe I want to give them 250 cash. Maybe I want to give them 300, but do financing. Maybe I want to do a rent own. But what did I just find out in that, just by asking that that micro commitment question? That he was willing to do it. He's a decision maker. Right. How so valuable. The authority. How valuable, like is, <laughs> uh, how valuable is knowledge up front? Or I could tell them all about lease purchasing and creative real estate and what a great guy I am and how I, be, I, how my, I inherited my father's liverwurst sandwich uh, company. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this, this is gut selling. We asked. What about my, the, what about the re, uh, recycled uh, dental floss? Recycle dental. Use dental floss. <laughs> I, did something, I did something new today. I did. I own the oh, world. Okay. All right. You got a lot going on, man. You're a winner. <laughs> I like, I, you know, my style. If it's, uh, we can have a lot of, we can, if we can have fun while we're learning, what's wrong with that? 
Oh, yes. And the bubble gum, the chewed bubble gum as well. Oh, yeah. Use bubble gum. Yeah, we scrape yeah. it. We go to all the restaurants all over the world, scrape under the movie theater. <laughs> I think, I think if we put the word recycled in there, recycled bubble gum, it will be a, a winner. You're a good salesperson. Recycle bubble gum or dental. Everyone gum. wants to, yeah, everyone wants to recycle these days and save the planet. Save the planet, recycle your bubble gum. Gosh. You know, buy this recycled bubble gum and you'll save the planet at the same time. How different, how different does the environment change when you use the right word? I said used in the boss. Jessica had a better word, recycle. <laughs> what, how does that change everything? Especially right now, it puts, it, recycle it, it is reframed it. It puts it in a whole nother frame. Yes. <laughs> what did Coke, remember, who remembers? I, you guys are too young. Remember Coke uh, came out with a new Coke and everybody said, no, we want the old Coke. And they were real embarrassed. So they came out with uh, another, the old version of Coke, but they called it something special. What was it? Classic classic oh yeah somebody they made one of the world's greatest marketing mistakes oh and then they had to say they came out with new coke oh we've changed the formula it's even better nobody liked it everybody said no i want the old coke and they came and then they scrambled fired a bunch of people and some marketing company said just bring back the old coke and call it classic wow 